When uh, making uh, gluten-free bread, you have two possibilities. You can either choose the liquid soft batter dough or a more uh, processable, kneadable dough with a more stiff consistency. In the batter dough, we need to incorporate a lot of air to get a, a good volume in the final bread. In the kneadable dough, uh, it's a much stiffer dough. It, uh, we need to add more ingredients uh, to make that system. Dough reality is a very important indicator for the final quality of gluten-free bread. If you're working with a better dough, it, it's the flowability that's of importance. If it's the more stiff dough, then it's more the extensibility of the dough which matters. This ideal dough rheology is changing if you're adding water absorbing ingredients like hydrocolloids and or uh, proteins. Uh, so there it would have to be adjusted uh, due to that. When we're looking at the final gluten-free bread, you can see that the kneadable dough is more uh, like a real bread. The taste and the softness will be more similar and the crumb structure will look more like a real gluten bread. Whereas the batter dough will be more open structured, it will be more hard earlier in the process. However, some manufacturers will still choose to do the batter dough because of the simplicity of this recipe. What's important to remember is that there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to functional ingredient solutions for gluten-free bread. The solutions must be tailor-made for each gluten-free type of bread, depending on which type of flour, which type of starches you have in your system. You can hear more about that in the other videos.